I'd like to show you today a new device that I built. I designed it on using 3D Builder on Windows, and I built it in a 3D printer and assembled it with a number of parts. It's a stand to record using a GoPro camera um, sketching, and what's what I do for fun. So I uh, start off with uh, assembling it. I, put, I got a little case for it from a camera store, an old camera case, and uh, then I put the rods in. There's little magnets inside of it that, uh, that hold things in place. I set it up with the, uh, with the camera facing down, open up a page of my journal, and I'll then just... Uh, um, I have li uh, LED lights on it to illuminate the journal so have uh, good lighting. And I press the record button, and this is what I recorded. So I'm just doing a drawing of uh, one of the pieces of the uh, of the model, which is a uh, uh, which is starts off with a wedge, and then I remove from the wedge a place for the battery uh, for the battery pack to fit in, and I have places for the rods to fit in, and that's uh, they'll fit into the into the two sides. So in each of the sides is a little uh, square hole where each of the uh, metal rods fit in. The metal rods go into a certain point, and then there is, uh, in the middle of it, when I put in during the printing, a uh, magnets uh, that I uh, put in while printing on the 3D printer, and these magnets hold the ro metal rods in place. So I put three of these magnets in, one on the left side, one on the right side, and one for the central rod that holds in the, uh, uh, the central camera mount. Uh, and all of those are held together uh, with the with the, with the magnets. So this is just how I draw. You know, drawing a little uh, three-dimensional uh, shape, which is uh, that's how all this is built uh, in 3D Builder. You can build up three-dimensional shapes by taking cubes and and wedges and cutting them and resizing them and stretching them and then subtracting and uh, and adding them together. So here I'm drawing in the uh, uh, the batteries, which were um, I just drew those in, uh, I modeled those as little rectangles, which I then, uh, they're, they're seeing them as cylinders, but I drew them as rectangles, and then I just subtracted those rectangles in the right place from the, uh, from the main, uh, uh, main model. And so here I'm drawing a cylinder, so that cylinder is what's holding the main, uh, the main bracket uh, that holds up the camera with the, uh, with the metal rods. And the metal rods has another uh, has another uh, magnet at the bottom of it, and that's what holds that in place. So all of the different pieces are are held in place by these magnets, uh, so that they doesn't uh, fall apart while I'm uh, while I'm using it. So I'm just gonna add a little color to it. So I brought out some watercolor pencils. So I'm just gonna add a little color. I tie my watercolor pencils together because I travel with them, and uh, just lets me have a kind of like a revolver, so that I have to worry about two instead of six. So I have three sets of wa uh, two sets of watercolor pencils, each with a different set of colors. It looks kind of strange when I draw with them, but uh, you get the picture that uh, not having them shaped like this makes it. Uh, I just tie it together with a thick rubber band. Uh, shaping it like this, it means it doesn't roll around as much as a single pencil. Then I use these uh, uh, Pentel Aquash brushes, uh, which are a, uh, a watercolor brush with uh, water in it, sort of like a, a pen, but it's a uh, but it has water and has a cap that lets me fill it up with water, and it lets me have my watercoloring and be portable while I'm doing it. some more color in there. In this case, I'm just going to add a little of blue. Watercolor pencils are really easy to, really fun to use because it's really easy to get pigment out and they're very portable and you don't have to carry a little brush kit. Uh, just have the, the aquash brush and the watercolor pencils and you can do all sorts of stuff with them.
yellow for these rods. They're more silver, but I decided to make them yellow. And just take a little pen and draw those out a little more. And use the watercolor brush to sort of blend it in together. And there you have it.